After arriving home again, after giving our dog Rosie a mile-long walk in beautifully clear, warm weather, I realized I haven't vacuumed my stairs, at least the horizontal treads of my stairs, in probably a month. So I figured it's time to do it, but what would make for an interesting video? I could just use a HEPA bag and just weigh the bag and, and go, well, okay, fine, great, you know, let's see what the bag weighs. But you wouldn't be able to see the dirt. So I'm going to use my dirt meter and some dirt pads. And despite what is running around uh, out there in uh, YouTube land on some very erroneous, non-factual channels, these dirt pads severely limit a Kirby's performance. So back in 2018, I even did a video in which I showed about a 25% drop just by putting in one of these, you know, thin single ply pads. Now, if you go and you continue to vacuum up, say, uh, something that has a lot of fine dust in it, you might reduce your Kirby's power by maybe 75, even 80%. You can take the airflow way down because as this pad clogs, it literally severely limits the airflow and you hear the Kirby's motor spin up. You know, it kind of howls in protest as it gets higher and higher pitched. It's really funny how some channels have a hard time understanding that physical fact, especially when they don't measure it or don't measure it properly. All right, so we're starting out with 1.36 grams empty with these pads, and I have some white ones and some black ones. That one is a little bit heavier, is it really? Hmm. I thought they were pretty much about the same. Of course, a hundredth of a gram isn't that much. All right, I'm going to say, I'll say 1.38. <laughs> Not like a hundredth or two of a gram really makes a whole lot of difference, because I'm hoping these pads will get uh, clogged up nicely with all types of stuff that we've ground into our medium pile carpet that's on the stairs. But let's see, what machine am I going to pick to do this dirty job? All right, let's go ahead and convert this. So this is my G6 in which I have the 50 foot Kirby cord option. And it's wonderful. I really love it. Use it a lot. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove the cord from the handle assembly. And then I can pop the bag off. Pretty easy. And then I will remove the handle in its entirety because we have another handle that we put on. So let's see. Um, I can put the handle on first, I suppose. Order doesn't really make a whole lot of difference. And if you were to use the bag, then I would connect this here, connect this there. But we're not going to use the bag. We're going to use the meter. So I just take this, open that up, take a pad, stuff it in there, and then this has a little latch, and then I latch it. And that's pretty much it. So let me show you one other thing, because there's, uh, there's a lot of people that say, this is really difficult to use on stairs. Let me show you how I make it as easy as possible. All right, so what I do is obviously you're going to be lifting the machine like this. And you notice how when I lift up, right, the machine wants to tilt forward. So most of the weight is on the front wheels. So when I go and put this down to the correct height, which is four clicks down, right, that you're going to have this huge mass of weight that's going to be on the front. Now, why sit there and try to struggle with it, trying to pop a wheelie and lift the front up? Just leave the front alone. The front wheels will literally take most of the weight. So what I use the handle for is only to move it back and forth. Obviously, transmission in neutral, because otherwise the wheels just sit there and spin in midair, and there's no point in having them spin. So, see, this is very easy to move back and forth. Now, if I were to turn it on, it'd be a little more difficult than this. But I'm only using my hand 
to move this back and forth. That's the only action. They say, but wait a minute, you're on stairs. So this thing is literally going to fall and it's going to, you know, it's going to tilt up. It's going to fall. Well, what I do is I use this hand, right? And I put my other hand right underneath the rear wheels. And all I do with that is gently lift. It's just a few pounds of pressure. See what happens here? There's this point, right, where it can tilt right on that particular axis. And it's very easy. This will give me back and forth. This will literally give me up and down. So there's a little bit of lifting here, not much, just to keep it from falling off the stairs. And then this is honestly just a tiny little bit of lifting as well. Just a pound or two of force, just enough to keep it on the carpet and keep it from tilting back. And then all I do is this, and that's what you're actually going to see. It's easier than it may look. So I have two pads with me, and I hope that's enough. In other words, I hope I don't have too much dirt, but I don't know. I'm going to start out with one and see how fast it fills. Like I said, it's been a, been a long time. So away we go. I'll kind of flip the cord over my neck, get it out of the way. So I'll show you the pads when we're done here, but uh, time to change the pads. And I'm going to guess that the Kirby's airflow was probably at least cut in half. So here we go. So once again, there it is. Yeah, how about that? We'll take a closer look downstairs and put them on the scale. Let's take a closer look. There you go. Now that to me looks like a lot of fibrous material. 
specifically dog hair, but there's other things in there as well. Uh-oh. I see a nail, like a, like a fingernail. Okay, so how much by weight did we get? I don't think that's too bad for a month. You go up and down stairs a lot, or at least we do. Okay, so we started out with 1.38 grams per each one of the white little pads, so that's 2.76. So I need to subtract 2.76 from 4.67. And we have a pickup of a little less than 2 grams. So I don't think that's that bad. I mean, remember, that's literally over four weeks. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.